richest people is equal to the three and a half billion poorest people. It's fantastic. And this is a great thing because it inspires everybody, gets the motivation to look up to the 1% and say, I want to become one of those people. I'm going to fight hard to get up to the top. This is fantastic news. And of course I applaud it. What can be wrong with this? Really? Yes, really. So somebody living on I celebrate a capitalism. dollar a day in Africa is, is getting up in the morning and saying, I'm going to be Bill Gates. That's the motivation the everybody thing needs. between me and I'm that not guy against is charity. motivation. I just need to pull up my socks. I am oh, not wait, a, don't, I don't have socks. Look, don't tell me that you want to redistribute wealth again. That's never going to happen. All, okay? You know what? You take a simple stat like this, which is neither good nor bad. It's just a fact. It's a celebratory stat. I'm very excited about it. I'm wonderful to see it happen. I tell kids you know every day, if you... A, I'm just gonna, if what's Jesus wrong with this? comes up at a cocktail party. No, no, Amanda, one what's wrong with this statement? One possible response If you to it, work hard, you might be stinking rich We're talking about people in extreme abject poverty. That's how you get three and a half no, billion No, we're not. You were just talking about really category. rich people. No. Okay. I'm going to tell you later what you should say to this. Sunny ways. <laughs> Canadians from all across this great country sent a clear message tonight. It's time for a change in this country, my friends. A real change. We won this election because we listened. We did the hard work of slogging it across the country. We met with hundreds of people in the dead of winter in the Arctic and with thousands of people in Brampton in the middle of this campaign. You built this platform. You built this movement. <laughs> Le 12 novembre 1939, dans les montagnes du nord de la Chine, le docteur Béthune est mort à son poste, son exemple éclaire notre chemin. Normand Béthune, médecin du peuple, cherchait la cause de la maladie, il l'a trouvé, c'est le capitalisme. Mais tu m'aides, tu parles 